Jay Sano, without intro music. Jay Sano, with intro music. Intro music remix. All right, hello everybody and welcome back. It is Jeff again with another episode of Prison Architect. And we left off last time and I had really expanded this max capacity area. And we just got a shipment of a bunch of max capacity prisoners in here. I'm gonna go in right now and turn off my prisoner intake completely just until we can get this whole thing sorted out. Uh, I wonder if any of these guys need to be under protective custody or not. I'm going to, I think, recruit my informants right now and then try to get some more informants. That's what I'm really going to have to do. Oops, sorry, that was, let's make sure that's proper. That is proper thus far. So let's get my informants underway. I've only got two of them left. So that makes life a little bit difficult. I need to get more. My ex-law enforcement may not be under the guise of death now. They might not have the, the eye of death or whatever it's called on them. But I'm not 100% certain because these guys have not yet made it over to my... To my... Uh, uh, security area like here comes one so he is telling me that one of these guys is marked for death still at least and where is my other guy the other guy he's still in route and I'm looking for any other problems I might see I don't have any legendary prisoners that I know of which is probably good here he comes but that also might change now that they're both active they're all in the same area. Ooh, a potential CI. Let's pause. See if I can get another one of these guys. Recruit him! Heck yeah! I got another CI. Sometimes it tells you their potential and they're not. Uh, they don't take it. I don't know if it, if it doesn't tell you they're a potential CI, if it automatically will just not let you have them as a confidential informant that I'm unsure of. I did pause the game right now so I can take a look. And I think I saw everything I need to see right now. However, somebody, multiple people gave me a bunch of suggestions in the last, after my last playthrough, uh, or my last episode, uh, about how to take care of this low risk area. And I will tell you, Many people suggested something specifically I said I wasn't going to do, which was put guards in each one of these cells. Somebody else suggested that I have just guard routes that go through the center of all these, which that is not a bad idea. However, the best idea came when somebody said, why not put a camera system in each one of the cells and set up CCTVs? And I think that is a fantastic idea. So what I need to do is, I can't remember if this is under utilities, it is. My CCTV monitor, I know I have to put it, this is my area, right, yep, that's it. So let's do my utilities. Let's put in a CCTV monitor right there. I think you only need one now. And I am feeding pretty much all my prisoners, which is good. I want to get these doctors sorted back out. Get your ass back over to your own infirmary. How about you? So that you can actually heal these prisoners when they're injured, okay? I don't even remember where your infirmary is. There it is. So they're going to build that. And in the meantime, I'm going to do my utilities and do a CCTV camera. Is that a drug OD? Oh, he just found drugs on him. Okay, it wasn't an OD. I'm going to take a CCTV camera and put it in the logic room. Wow. Incoming signal and bridges it into the electronic cable installed in the same square. The electric cable will carry the signal to any other logic circuit installed in the same electric cable. It can be used to broadcast a common signal all around your prison. So much stuff I didn't know. A status light? A phone tap? <gasps> oh god. 
Hold on, fellas. We're tapping somebody's phone. This one. These these ones. You guys are getting your phones tapped. I this. Oh. Designed to be a built-in security room operated by a guard, allows you to monitor all outgoing phone calls made by inmates. Oh, all of them. Okay. This is getting installed. There's no question about that. Where's that CCTV monitor? You can go right there. I don't even know what that is. It just looks amazing. But either way, CCTV monitor. Can I put you... I can't put you there. I can put you here, though. Like this. So if I put one of you... I'm going to put one in each one of these cells right here. Granted, it doesn't see everything because of the angle that it's at, but it is probably quite a major help. We're going to find out, and I don't know if these people are going to feel more suppressed because of it, but now we have CCTV cameras going everywhere. This guard is watching this. This guy's installing this. Let's, let's get this going forward. This thing needs power, though. So while they do that, that's fine. Power can be easily made like that. That should connect to you, I believe. I found scissors. I know that. Okay, there we go. So now we have power on this thing. And I don't know how this works. I have to connect this thing to my phones as well. So let's slow this game down. need to so it's red if I go this way and it's blue if it goes the oh no it seems that they're all blue so is that oh my God. I actually have absolutely no idea if I need to do dual connections on this thing but either way we're gonna get these guys connected up as well. I'm assuming you can connect it to all of these. I don't see a reason why you wouldn't be able to. We're gonna find out though. We're just connecting it to everything I possibly can and seeing how this baby works. You actually have ones inside your, your cell. The confidential informants are, they're dangerous guys. I have to make sure that I keep an eye on their phone calls. I will leave the low security people to not have those connections okay so it looks like it's just transmitting back and forth between all of the different calls so that's good but I think I need a guard station a guard stationed in front of it as well oh there is one in there okay interesting now I need to make the connections to not contraband. I was just there. I was just there. Where did you go? In utilities. Make my power switch a connection. This is a lot better than having to do it like you did last time. And it was just three CCTVs to each monitor. I like this connection thing a lot better. I still don't necessarily think it's perfect, but... Hopefully this will cut down on some of the riffraff and allow me to see into many of these cells. Inactive. Build more. Oh no, there we go. It does want more CCTV monitors though. Are these... So it looks like it kind of cycles through them all. Which I'm actually okay with it cycling through them all. I don't need them all active all the time. It would, granted, it would be nice, but I kind of like the fact that it's going to bounce between all of them and just let me see glimpses into them because they are minimum security. Like I said, they've been giving me a lot of problems. However, I kind of like that. I want these guys to wake up because I'm really curious to see what's going to happen in the morning with the phone calls. And I don't know what you would 
what you gain out of the phone calls. Does it tell you what you're gaining out of the phone calls? Do you just have to guess when somebody's on the phone? It will like pop something up above their head and show you that, oh, you happen to listen in on the fact that they were doing this, but if you don't catch it at the exact time, then you don't actually get to catch it. I have absolutely no idea. That being the case, I should shake these guys down right now to get ourselves onto a clean slate. So we're gonna do a shakedown. People are gonna be upset. They're gonna feel unnecessarily searched. While we do the shakedown, however, there's a couple grants that I can go through and easily just pull off. Somebody was telling me to make sure I get stuff. Now this one I probably can't because I don't have a holding cell at all. I would need to designate something as a holding cell to increase this to the next level. So let's actually do that temporarily. I can build a holding cell because there's visitation. I can build a holding cell essentially anywhere um, just for a temporary means of getting through. So what do I need for a holding cell? Holding cell needs to be five by five enclosed, a toilet, a bench, and indoors. So do I have any open five by five spaces I can just in theory utilize? No, not per se. However, I could I could make one right up here. Very briefly, just kind of go materials. We're gonna build a, a wall just to tear down a wall. Just the temporary measure. So if we do that, we're gonna do our objects toilet we're throwing a toilet in we're throwing a bench in boom we're gonna go rooms holding a cell just like that so once they get this wall finished I should be able to say I have a holding cell just to get rid of it and move on past this uh, past this grant except that my <gasps> son of a bitch Caught you. Now, where were you going with this? I guess is the major question. And why are none of my workmen coming in here? Are they all stuck at the door? Okay, open the door. Damn it. My cops are all busy. Oh, 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 oh. Let's slow us down. It's really hard to grab it when there's too many people there as well. Let me see if I can make you be a confidential informant. No. How about you? No. How about you? No. How about you? No. None of those guys want to be my CIs. But there's a lot of them in trouble. You guys aren't getting in trouble up here. That's weird. How about you? No. You guys messed up, officers. Officers, you put two of these guys together. He already is a CI. <laughs> My CI had to get uh, put in solitary. Are you awaiting solitary and just can't get in there? Like, what's the deal with that? Oh, they came and cleaned up this tunnel already. It looks like you just started the tunnel. But nothing else came from it because... There we go. That's, that's fine. Okay, so there we go. That my, my holding cell is done. Well, no, it's not done. I need this toilet and this bench to get in there. Unfortunately, these guys are, again, stuck at a door that I can't open for them because there's too many of them crowded around that I can't grab the hitbox of the door. Move, people. Move. Thank you. Come on. One more. Thank you. We're almost done with the shakedown as well. Man, these guys love the benches. I never ever knew that before, but they love the benches. Holding cell is done, so let's get that grant complete. Basic detention center, beautiful, it's done. I no longer have any need for this holding cell. We're gonna go materials. We're gonna demolish this wall. Well, is there a reason to demolish the wall? Nice. Don't I just... Why can't I build this door? That's weird. 
It's not giving me the, the picture of the door, so I don't know which direction it is. There, we'll just do that. We'll actually leave this holding cell for now, just in case I ever maximize my capacity and can no longer perform the actions that I need to. Uh, screw it. We're just going to take that all the way up there. Do a small pipe like that. Now that's just for possibilities in the future. And here's that stupid hole still that exists. Is that the only tunnel I was able to find, though? And these guys, none of those guys wanted to be my CIs. Nobody wanted to be my CI. Maybe this guy does, because he these two look like they're getting escorted into into here for some reason. No. Did he say five days left? Oh, six days in my prison. So I'm tapping phone lines. I've got CCTV cameras set up everywhere. I've got my grants going. See, look at that. The door. The door is broken. There it is. That's really weird. I must have hit some weird glitch part of the game, but that's fine. Yeah, I kind of like the way that these CCTV cameras are working. Ah, thank you so much for that suggestion. That was that was fantastic. But now I should be able to get the administrative sensor. Build two offices, hire a ward, unlock finances. Boop. Cell block A I should be able to do. Prison capacity of 15. Build a medical ward, hire at least two doctors, hire a psychologist. Boom, got that. Prison maintenance. Unlock maintenance through bureaucracy. Unlock cleaning through bureaucracy. Unlock groundskeeping. Hire a foreman. Hire at least two janitors and a gardener. I apparently have that. Uh, visitation rights should be done. Security procedures. Hire a security chief. Hire 10 guards. Unlock patrols. Boom, boom. Government security ratings. Assign two dog handlers. Don't have that one yet. Uh, I got the working one. Education reform, I'm not going to start. Prison manufacturing, produce 30 license plates. Hmm. Staff well-being, got it. Inmate nutrition, not going to do. Crack down on drugs, probably already have it. Yep. Remove the supply of stolen tools. Do not have that one yet. So we're doing the tool cleanup. Cell block B. Got it. Cell block C. Got it. <laughs> Cell block D. Got it. <laughs> Cell block E. Look at me. I just jumped myself up to $341,000, which raised my evaluation to $870,000. And I am sitting at, where's my days without penalty? 7.2 days without incident. That is amazing. Kitchen safety, a lot of people pass kitchen safety. Workshop safety, a lot of people pass workshop safety, so my workshop should actually be rocking it right now. Behavioral therapy doesn't have people in the queue properly. Pharmacological treatment of drugs, 30 people have passed? Good work, prisoners. Carpentry. All rooms are booked. Do I not have my general ed class going anymore? All rooms book. Let's reschedule everything. Let's kill that one, because nobody's in it. Let's try to kill some of these classes that nobody's in. Foundation education. Oh. 17 past foundation education. 17 past foundation education. I'm so proud of of these little guys. Now, this is interesting. There's now a scheduler, which you can look at this in a much cleaner way to see how this is all going. So that's nice. So these are my different uh, pharmacological treatment of drugs showing me where they're at, which is, this is really nice to show how this all works. I don't know why behavioral therapy is in the office. Classroom, classroom. I should change one of the classrooms now to where are we at here. I should take away this foundation education program. Poor guys that were in that. Reschedule this now because now I can get my general education qualification program going in there. I want to see if my workshop if I'm 
producing anything over here in the workshop. Officer, come here. Are people actually working in here right is the thing. And did I screw up this whole deployment? Uh, not the whole deployment. I kind of want the whole thing all to be shared. This area I want it to be medium security only just because I don't want everybody else running into it. The workshop is medium security only, which is fine. I don't know if people are... What do you got? Some drugs. Deployment jobs. I do have people in here. 12 people are qualified. I, I got people working in there. I'm not sure what they're doing. However, I think this episode has gone quite smooth yet again. I've got lots of money. I've got an eye in my min security cells. I found a tunnel before it became a problem. People are... 36 are well treated. 23 have serious complaints. Let's take a look before we end this episode of what these complaints are. Hygiene and family. That's interesting. Do you not have enough time for showering? Regime? The free time should be enough for the family time. Do you guys want to shower again at night or something? There, let's do that. You can shower at night and in the morning and get one less hour of sleep. I don't know if that's going to be something that will make you happy or not, but that's what we're going to do. All your phones are tapped and you have no idea. Which, I want to watch people... Well, I guess, you know, I might not even need to do that because if I go to needs now... Okay, hygiene is pretty much non-existent after after the beginning of this thing. It's pretty. It's the family is really what it comes down to. Um, so I really don't need to have that second shower period anymore. Some of the families, some of the people are seeing this family. I'm wondering if people don't have a way to get over there properly. They all should be able to make their way over there. They, granted, they have to go through the kitchen, which sucks, but. They all should be able to make it over there. Oh, God. Oh, God. Stop it. Stop it, fellas. You got... You got's dead. I don't know what you did, man, but you got yourself dead. And you guys turned into black holes. Very odd. Where is my freaking doctor? You guys are pieces of garbage. Get over there and attend to your people, man. No wonder everybody's dying. It's because you guys aren't doing your job. It's like patient abandonment. Yeah, go through and heal everybody up now. Freaking doctors. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, this is Jeff. Stay tuned for the next episode of Prison Architect.